Welcome to Occupied Sydney, reoccupied now for four nights, baby, four nights. We're here in Martin Place, we've moved down a block out of respect for the, uh, the memorial services today on Armistice Day. Um, we have a lot of sympathy for the, the young men and women who've been killed in wars, fighting for other people's interests. Uh, just in today's papers, we found out a couple of interesting bits of information that go to the heart of what we're doing here on the streets in Martin Place and around the world. The Australian Federal Government, which had previously stated that for all senior public servant roles it was going to be opening up a, a tender process where they basically they get people to come in and apply and they go through the applications and it's a competitive process where they get the best person for the job, has chosen to head the Australian Securities and Investment Commission, ASIC, the corporate watchdog, the national corporate watchdog, a guy who is on trial or has, has been named as one of the, the guys who was, uh, oversaw Societe Generale, a French bank who has been accused in the US of gross misconduct including fraudulent behavior, misleading authorities, misleading the, watch, the, the corporate watchdog in the US, and they're currently on trial over there for, for like inappropriate behavior and, and, uh, and fraudulent economic activity. This is a, a guy who was the head of the, one of the housing financial um, arms of, uh, of uh, SOCGEN, as it's called, and um, and he basically implemented the give everyone lots of money so that they go out there and make sure that everyone gets home loans and then repackage that debt and send it on to other people as a secure investment until, as we all know, the housing bubble burst and the, the whole system came crashing down. So our corporate watchdog, who Mr. Swan has, says has decades of experience He's got decades of experience, all right, but his experience is in how to rip people off <laughs> and make a profit. <laughs> Basic, basically, because of telling everybody that things were, were safe to invest in when they weren't and encouraging this sort of debt-driven economy similar to the one we've got today. And to follow on from that, the second major article in today's paper, the 11th of the 11th, is about how Greece is about to collapse and the European Union is considering kicking Greece out of the Euro because they can't pay their debts. And Italy is something like $1.7 trillion in debt, Spain's in debt, Ireland's in debt. So people ask us, what are we doing? You know, people ask us, what, what are you guys doing? You should go get a job. What's the point of getting a job if it's only gonna last a week, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> We've got jobs, we've got jobs, but we're down here fighting against this sort of inter integration of, of lying corporate business leaders and lying politicians and their little like boys club up the top of it all where they give each other jobs without going through due process. And somehow through every financial crisis, there's a, a wonderful guy who came and chatted to us earlier today here at the occupation. He put it really nicely, he goes, the world, the world won't collapse. People at the top will keep making money. Don't you worry about that. Governments will remain and big business will remain. It's just the workers that will be asked to pay more. So that's why we're here. That's why we're here down at Martin Place in Sydney. That's why we're gonna be here and we're gonna stick around until we get some honesty in government and get some, some justice and responsibility in corporations when they start listening to the people instead of the profits. So it's just a short update on Friday, Armistice Day, the 11th of the 11th, here in Sydney from Occupy Sydney.